Hammers secure third straight home league win over Red Devils. West Ham United secured a home Premier League victory over Manchester United for the third straight year, thanks to second half Crescentio Somerville and Jared Bowen goals on Sunday. The visitors had their chances to open the scoring in the opening period, but it was Somerville who struck first 16 minutes from time, prompting late drama as both sides had their moments. Alejandro Garnacho struck the crossbar after being set up by Bruno Fernandez inside two minutes, while Wukash Fabianski had to make saves from Rasmus Hoyland and Casemiro. The Red Devils were punished for those misses when halftime sub Somerville snuck in around the back to finish off from Danny Ng's touch and net his first goal in claret and blue. However, just seven minutes later, the visitors were level when Casemiro was left free in the middle to nod home after Diogo Dalot kept a deep Ahmad cross alive at the far post. The drama continued, though, as the Hammers were awarded a stoppage time penalty for a Mathis delict foul on Ings after a VR check, and Jared Bowen stepped up to strike home into the bottom right corner. View a photo gallery from the day by clicking on the image above. Gary Neville claims referee David Coote awarded West Ham's penalty in win over Man United because he didn't want to upset a superior after VAR Michael Oliver recommended a review. Gary Neville slammed West Ham's controversial late penalty in their 2-1 win over Manchester United as a big shock and questioned the intentions behind the decision. The former Manchester United serial title winner has been one of the club's biggest critics, but defended them after Matthijs de Ligt was penalized in the 90th minute for fouling Danny Ings. Hammers captain Jared Bowen scored from the resulting spot kick to send the London Stadium into raptures and pile even greater pressure on Eric Ten Hag. The underfire United boss and his players were left furious when referee David Coote awarded the hosts a penalty following the lengthy VAR review. Experienced referee Michael Oliver was the VR assistant and prompted Coote to review the incident on the pitch side monitor with a penalty eventually given that condemned United to a fourth Premier League defeat of the season. Gary Neville slammed West Ham's controversial late penalty in their 2-1 win over Manchester United. Man United's Dutch defender Matthijs de Ligt, middle, was deemed to have made a foul in the box. Neville Wright was critical after referee David Coote, left, was advised to review the foul on the pitch side monitor. Neville fumed over the penalty and revealed the decision left him screaming at the TV with United dealt a hammer blow on their trip to the capital. Speaking on his Gary Neville podcast, the celebrated pundit stated, It's penalty, not right that one. Every team gets a bad decision, but that wasn't right. The interesting thing was, he must have watched it eight times when he went to the monitor. I'm screaming at the TV. He doesn't think it's a penalty. But then he overturns his original decision, he added. I think the pressure may be of being sent over to the screen by Michael Oliver, a dominant referee, no one likes to upset their superiors. Hammers captain Jared Bowen scored in stoppage time to seal a memorable win over Man United. Defeat piles even greater scrutiny on under-pressure Man United manager Eric Ten Hag. Experienced referee Michael Oliver, pictured, was the VR chief for United's clash with West Ham. I'm not sure David Coote was anywhere near thinking it was a penalty, and it was a big shock, said Neville. United slumped to 14th in the table after the harrowing loss that raises more questions over Ten Hag's suitability to continue in the role. Ex-Barcelona manager and serial title winner, Xavi, has been sounded out as a potential replacement for the Dutchman amongst others. Ten Hag has previously defended his position and stressed there was harmony with Sir Jim Ratcliffe's Ineos-backed sporting team who are attempting to take the club back to challenging for the Premier League title.